and we'll see the Bears. Electric quarterback. You can't ask for much more than his last game. A five touchdown effort. It's the Bears and the Commanders on Thursday night primetime. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. And tonight we start week five with a prime time matchup as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this Commanders team coming into play here today. They come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, it's been all systems go in this first month. They're off to a 4-0 start. And it's got folks believing that this is a team that's built to go all the way. You can't win the Super Bowl in September. And we drop you in here under the lights. First drive of the contest. Let's go now. Throwing to start the drive. Williams. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Chicago. DeAndre Swift, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bears will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part. We have a red zone situation brewing. This defense on their heels a little bit as they get set to defend a first and 10 with the ball at the 16. Looking for the corner, and he's got it. Touchdown, Washington. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Commanders are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, this... The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifting, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. Now, some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, that led to a really nice game. Now a second and ten. Throwing again, Williams. He's going to look deep for more. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was looking to get that one to D.J. Moore. Third down here. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He'll fire deep, looking for Moore. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Bears. D.J. Moore, 63 yards. And the Bears have taken the lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. To throw on third down, Daniels. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. And while all of that was going on with a sack, it appears, unfortunately, we have an injured player. 
So time becoming an issue here late in this first half of action as we get back down to the field. Williams on first down. He's going to look deep for more. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Chicago. DJ Moore with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense and CD you know sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles I mean, last time how you think about it couldn't have been any simpler one play one pass touchdown I know those coaches put a lot of work into this game plan but I don't think they might and that's caught inside the 30 touchdown DJ Moore on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL-caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big-time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up. This offense has been clicking pretty well here in the first half. They've got the sizable margin. Now can they add to it here with a final drive in the second quarter? Now Williams throwing to start the drive. He'll fire deep looking for more. And got his man complete. Touchdown Bears. DJ Moore on his way to a historic performance for first half touchdowns and the Bears are able to widen their lead here in this first half Brandon remind me again this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing a rookie indeed I mean because my eyes are telling me something I'm having trouble believing five touchdown passes he's thrown five in this game are you This offense has been lighting the scoreboard up. Now the question, can they add to their lead? We drop you in a red zone situation in the second half. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. Here we go, Jack! Six the evil, six the evil! Let's go! Look at the throw. Williams. Yeah, he's got it! Touchdown! DJ Moore. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging it... A lot of points put on the board so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. He finds his target, Allen. 
Touchdown, Bears! Keenan Allen with career touchdown number 60. And the Bears are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. Well, this has been another impressive display by this undefeated team, Charles, and it looks like they're going to stay that way after this one. Yeah, one of the league's best offenses, they've stayed on brand in this contest because they... As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And take this to the other side of midfield before. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. On fourth down, Daniels looking for McLaurin, and he's getting. It's a two-score game in the fourth quarter. Onside kick coming up, and the kicking team desperately needs a football. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim, and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And now Chicago getting ready to go. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. 60 boxes, 60 boxes. Here's Williams from the gun on third down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there. And Williams now throwing on fourth down. And this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to have the Bears first. And that should be the capper. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So for Chicago, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And they'll get a few extra days to...